Ken Block's Gymkhana 4 is here. Also, the most powerful electric supercar on Earth just hit us out of nowhere. We'll have more. Also, the Senna documentary breaks records. News on the new 2013 Ford Mustang. And we got Hump Day Girl of the Week. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. This is Fast Lane Daily, and it is definitely not the Today Show. Next generation of performance is here. Royal Purple's new high-performance street motor oil, HPS. Fortified with zinc phosphorus anti-wear protection, HPS exceeds the demands of high-performance and modified engines. Magnified, HPS improves metal surfaces for longer engine life. HPS's high film strength frees up more power, reduces heat and wear, plus provides greater protection. The next generation of performance is here with HPS from Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. Who would have thought after millions upon millions of views of Gymkhana 3 that Ken Block would outdo himself again with Gymkhana 4? Well, he did. And I must say, it's pretty f***ing awesome. Block drifts himself through Hollywood backlot sets, including iconic movies like Back to the Future and Jaws. He even puts the camera in Jaws' mouth. Yeah. He also drifts around forklifts, gorillas, epic mealtime dudes, and hits Sasquatch on a ladder. Now, we can't show you any more than this. And that's it. Again, stupid copyright sh**, but definitely hit the link in the description or click right here. Just wait till after the show. By the way, did I mention this is one huge commercial for DC? But honestly, who cares? Because in our opinion, it's awesomely done. I mean, why else would he call it the Hollywood Megamercial? Why else would I be wearing a DC shirt right now? Because they don't secretly sponsor us. Right. We're trying to get them to sponsor us and not just send us free t-shirts. All right, moving on. Ever hear of a company called Quimera? No. No? Well, me either. But they just released video of their new AEGT supercar. They claim it's, quote, the most powerful electric car on the earth. You be the judge, roll it. Now just hold up a second there, Quimera. You revolutionized the world with a fast electric race car, yet the video to promote said car looks as if a fourth grader with iMovie put it together. That stock music is nearly a decade old, right? We know it. It's old stuff. It comes with Max. Yep. All right, enough of the rant. Not trying to be a dick. Now to the car itself. 700 horsepower with 737 pound-feet of torque. That is impressive, right? That's crazy. Yeah, get this. Quimera claims a 300 miles per hour top speed. Again, I will say 300 mile per hour top speed and zero to 60 in under three seconds. That would mean two seconds in change. We'll believe the 300 miles per hour when you produce another video showing just that. But sub three seconds to 60 does seem more realistic. So how does such a car do it? Well, it's got three electric motors that are powered by a slew of lithium polymer batteries. It's still a prototype but the company said there's a strong possibility of a production version coming out in the not too distant future. Oh, Quimera, you sneaky fastest electric supercar on earth building mother fudgers. I don't want to say the F word. So I said fudge. And Ayrton Senna, you know him, right? One of the greatest drivers to ever live. We spoke about him and the documentary about his life called Senna last week. Well, the documentary has claimed some pretty good numbers. So good, in fact, Senna has the title of the best debut of a documentary so far this year. Senna will expand to 15 more screens at 11 markets next weekend, so it may be coming to a theater near you. Senna, being the best debuting documentary in 2011 like a boss. Right, Rick? Boss. Yeah. And now to our internet rumor mill with the new 2013 Ford Mustang. According to MustangsDaily.com, the new 2013 Stang will get a fairly significant redesign with styling cues from the current Shelby GT500. We expect the entire front end to be redone to conform to new European pedestrian crash standards, allowing the Mustang to once again become an international car. That means the front end will be almost flat. Insiders are also suggesting that the entire light package on the new Mustang will include LEDs with the exception of the fog lights. Those same insiders say we shouldn't expect much change in the powertrain department. Still expect the 5-liter V8 and the 3.7-liter V6. 
We can expect to see the first concept design for the new Mustang this coming fall at the LA Auto Show. We'll be there. How about you guys? I was asking them, so oh, yeah, we'll be there. no one's really going to ask. Her. Well, I was asking you, I was asking them, but no one's really going to answer because it's a camera. And it's also Wednesday. So Ian, what do you think that means? Dougie does daycare. This is so hard. No, Every no. Wednesday. It is. It's hump day girl of the week. And oh. To the, yeah. And to the request of a few, it's BAM! Random Grid Girls. So I guess it's hump day girls of the week. Yep, Ian, just keep on funneling through them all. Oh, hi, Red Bull ladies. I like your suspenders. <laughs> you monster ladies looking good in that hot tub. The monster girls are good. Yeah, and geez, look at the glutes on this one. hi -o. Give me a slap. All right. And who could forget these ladies? Yeah, I'm sure it's the bike that these guys are excited about. Probably not. Gotta love grid girls. All right. Well, that's it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. You guys have a great rest of the week. The next time I see you, it will be my birthday. 44. No.